The Tampa Bay Rays will hold on to win the American League East, but the Baltimore Orioles and the Toronto Blue Jays finish strong to earn wildcard spots, while the New York Yankees will fade down the stretch and fail to make the playoffs. With the Yankees' aging roster and the injuries they've dealt with, I think they're the fourth best team in the East. Despite a mediocre first half, I think the Cleveland Guardians win the American League Central with 87 wins. In the West, I think the Astros win the division again with the most wins in the American League in the second half. And while I think the Rangers will struggle a bit in the second half, I still think they win the last wildcard spot over the Yankees. Which means I think the Angels will become sellers and officially start trading away assets to build for their future. The Oakland A's will probably lose over 120 games. Moving over to the National League, the Braves will win the East and challenge for the all-time wins record. After a very bad first half of the season, I think the Mets are going to be one of the best teams of the second half. Despite all they're underachieving this year, I think the talent pushes through and they earn a playoff spot. I also think the Phillies make the playoffs. The Marlins will win over 80 games for the first time since 2009, but will fail to hold on to a playoff spot. I hope I'm wrong. They've been a fun team this year, but I do not trust their offense. But if Alcantara can turn it around in the second half, that might be enough. The Reds keep the momentum going to win the National League Central, and the extremely disappointing Cardinals become sellers at the trade deadline. After some back and forth with the Diamondbacks, the Dodgers win the National League West again. But the Arizona Diamondbacks still make the playoffs for the first time since 2017. Meaning despite a massive second half by Juan Soto where he posts a 500 on base percentage, the Padres fail to make the playoffs and finish the season around 500. And because of this, they become sellers and trade away Blake Snell and Josh Hader. So this is what the playoff picture would look like. Let me know your thoughts.